And during the past week, Local News 8 has reported two stories of deadly possible home invasions. The one last night in Bingham County we just mentioned. The other potential break-in leading to a standoff in Idaho Falls last weekend. The details of both of these cases are still under investigation. But today, Local News 8 is taking the opportunity to talk to experts on how to respond to an active shooter or home invasion situation. Seth Ratliff has been looking into this for us and has more. Seth. Todd, according to self-defense expert Robert Wiley of Idaho Falls DPP Defense, your first step should be to prevent a situation by securing your home. He says one of the first things homeowners neglect is having and using proper locks on doors and windows. Second, he says families and individuals need to be proactive by making and discussing emergency plans in the event of an intruder. You want to have an emergency plan and not only just have that plan, but also do drills and practice because it won't do you any good if you have, you know, so often people will go out, they'll buy a firearm and go, I'm safe, I don't need to worry about it because that gun is a magic talisman sitting in the closet, unloaded, and it's just gonna ward away evil, which unfortunately, denial will hurt you faster than any attacker. And in the event someone does break into your home, Wiley and members of law enforcement say only to use force if necessary. Your first response should be to de-escalate the situation. I'll be back with more information on self, from self-defense experts and local law enforcement later tonight. Reporting in the studio, I'm Local News 8's Seth Ratliff. Thanks, Seth.